It was a fiery relationship. He's a f***ing nasty piece of work. She's just up her own arse. I don't want to be near him. She's just a bit loopy, man. And now it's exploded. That is inappropriate behaviour. You ever f***ing touch me again. I mean, I touch want to me again. Oh, off. off, Sophie. The guy is a prick. That is f***ing inappropriate. For sake, man. I know, I've never been so disrespected in my life. Tonight, two more head for the Love Shack. I would love to go into the Love Shack. I'd love to go in the Love Shack. I'd love to have another trip to the Love Shack. Don't put me in the Love Shack. And your votes will decide. on a day of screaming, swearing, tantrums and accusations oh, of inappropriate dear. behaviour. Yes, Paul and Sophie's relationship continues to blossom. It's eh? lovely. Additionally, Fern, I think you're going to have to buy a hat. Or a crash helmet, it's mm. probably more likely. Now, tonight, you'll be sending another couple live to the Love Shack and the line to the boys are still open. But first, to yesterday morning, when Paul was given the task of trying to make the girls scream. The Love Island equivalent of asking a bird to take a dump in the woods. <laughs> dear Paul... This afternoon you must carry out a challenge. You have to make all the girls scream. No one must suspect what you are up to. You have one hour to complete your secret mission. Good luck. Shit. Oi! Girl, that's not funny. It's inappropriate and I find it really, really Only offensive. Like that. Yes, but I find it offensive. It was only a joke. But I'm... I don't find it funny. I'm not trying to make you funny. I want... Don't ever do it again, and I'll let it go this once, but I swear next time you do not want to see what I'm going to react like. Sorry, it was only a joke. It went like that. <laughs> I've, I've never been so disrespected in my life. And he's like, oh, I didn't expect that reaction. What reaction do you expect, Paul? I don't even like you touching me, let alone pulling my f***ing bikini bottoms down. Sophie? Don't want to hear it right now. Yeah, well, I need to tell you. Babe, I'm bored of you saying I'm sorry. It's Can you listen to me? I would never do that. They took me in the beach, huh? That's inappropriate behaviour. On my mum's Fine, dad's Fine, because life. you know what? That is inappropriate behaviour. You ever f***ing touch me again. You do not want to see how I'm going to act. Do you want me to tell you the truth? They gave no, me a laminate. I don't believe a f***ing word you say. Don't you? Well, f They gave me a laminate to say you have to make Get all the girls it. scream in an hour. They didn't make me scream, baby. It, they did not mean f***ing be sexually inappropriate. It wasn't sexually inappropriate. That is f***ing inappropriate. No, it wasn't. They said you have to make all the girls scream That's in an hour harassment, and you babe. get a treat. Oh, f*** off, Sophie, all right? F***ing joke. It's a f***ing laugh. I didn't find it funny. You know what? Next no, time. No, did you I? I didn't want to touch you. This is scum. How f you react like this? Very easily, because it's my body, and if I feel it's inappropriate, I didn't I touch won't your body. react like it. I didn't even go near your body. I didn't touch your body. Really? Pulling my bikini bottoms down no, isn't I didn't pull them down. I went like that. Oh, off. I went like that. I just went like that when you're elastic. <laughs> Don't let it go. Come over here. Come and cool down. Oh, Sake, man, there ain't no power. I don't want to come near you. Son, come here for Christ's sake. Don't get wound up, man. You don't need it. You're better than that. Come on. It wouldn't have mattered what he had done. She would have gone nuts because she doesn't like the guy. It's, it's, it's as plain and simple as that. The guy is a prick. Would you do it to a woman who's way out of your league who would not touch you with a barge pole? No. Take a couple of minutes. Cool down. Don't need to speak to her again for the rest of the day, okay, man? Don't let it get to you. Come on. You're better than that, aren't you? No gentleman would ever do that to a woman. He is foul. I felt sorry for Paul. We didn't really do anything wrong. And although his actions were not very clever, you know, in my opinion, she was out of order. <laughs> I love it. So Sophie says no oh. gentleman would ever do that to a woman so out of his her league. Yeah, so out of her league, league. Yeah, I know. Whenever I saw it, you know, mm -hmm. the first thing sprung to mind was, oh, isn't that Sophie Anderson, the classy oh, lady, lovely. so polite, so well spoken. Bleep 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 and a bleep and a bleep and a bleep. bleep. Uh, still, being the lady she is, I'm sure I'm sure she won't hold it against him. Ah, uh, well, you say that, Paddy. Uh. <sighs> 
Hvad var? Finder du det bedre? Ja. Ja. I don't want to have to shout like that. No, no, that. you don't, mate. I oh, know you it's don't. It's the last thing I wanted. If you have moments like that, dude, you can, you can save yourself. You don't have to look like that. I know it's hard. But she started hey? swearing at me. I know. Calling me a liar. I know, when but you, you know you're not a liar. liar. Yeah. No, I'm not f***ing. No. Come here. No. Come here, Don't let it wind you up, hey? Come here. It's really just kind of... <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered what you did. Do you know what I did? I went like that. I went, you saw. I know, mate. I know it's not. It's... I didn't go like that. And it was funny. In my opinion, yeah. it was spot on the mark what you should have done to make a scream. But what wasn't spot on the mark is now the new girl seen me react like that. Get the all new over girl, me. The new girl knows that it was a game. If the rest of us are laughing, she's laughing as well. It's only Sophie that was Yeah, but now, pizza. but she seemed the temper. But I don't want the new girl thinking that I'm some you know, let the guy that's you swearing let, at girls. You let the new girl make her own judgment on you over the next few days. One thing we've got in here is time, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Man. You all right? Yeah, thanks, man. Any time, brother. That's what we're all here for, right? Thanks. Man. Looking out for each other. Yes. You all right, bruv? Yeah. I didn't want to react like that, especially in front of the new girl. Do you know what I mean? It's totally bullshit up now, hasn't it? I don't know. I can't speak for her. I don't know. Yeah, of course she has. Everybody else will just dance, except for so, because that's the one that got to happen. It happened. Yeah, but new girl don't. Um, she's thinking, whoa, who's <laughs> a <f> man? <laughs> so it is. I don't want him as a boyfriend. Oh dear, I love you, buddy. Why don't headbands ever stay on properly? Do you know what I mean? This They're one stays on. Oh, yeah. This one stays on quite well, actually. Paul, come and eat! Paul, it's Lee, you all right? You all right? No, because... What's happened? I, don't, I just feel bad on Emily. Mm -hmm. So I've ruined all... Chances now. Yeah, man. Paul, you need to eat, darling. We've got a plate of food here for you. No, yeah, come on. Well, I've just come made on, a plate babe. of food for you. Do you want it or not, babe? No, thanks. Come on, that's just. Fine, that's... okay. I was just offering. Come I was on, trying to be just... nice. I just don't want to see me shout like that. Swear like that. It's going to totally put me off. It's my number. Come out now. It should be all right. The longer you stay in here, oh, the more. The better it looks. Does it? Not if you come out now, you might be all forgotten about. Come out, then. Are you going to do that apology thing to everyone, please? I'll do it individually. OK. Do it as a group now, as a unit. He knows that he shouldn't have done it, and he's, he's annoyed that he did himself What, that he like did that. that to me? Huh? What, that he did that to me? He's not annoyed that he did that to you. He made a wrong judgment call. He's annoyed at his judgment. He wasn't trying to... Do anything sexual with you? He wasn't trying to hurt no, you anyway. He's just trying to make. It... And any no, other no, place. but he, it's just—it's not thinking. Is what it is. And if he had chucked me in the pool, I would have laughed. No, you wouldn't. You would have. No, I wouldn't. Out. Any because then he would have touched you. It's different. I don't know. So I. Well, I baby, think... I know myself. So you know what? Just take my word for this one. There's no, there's no talking to either of you because. I'm totally cool. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I took a plate of food. You did want to talk about it. You were just talking to me about it. Yeah, but not but you're only told talking about it. that I'm wrong I'm when I'm not. I'm not telling you you're wrong, sweetheart, am I? Baby, if it had been no, me doing that to you, mm -hmm. would you have reacted the same way? I like you you would have been pissed. You wouldn't have done it. I might have. I might have. Like, that's no, the kind of thing. You wouldn't call my bikini bottoms down. Well, no. Yeah, I would have flicked them. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did. I don't claim to know what he did. Well, in my personal opinion, he didn't violate you. Well, no, but if. I understand why you think. Well, yeah, he did. He touched me and he pulled my bikini buttons down and flicked them. That's violating me. It's violating my personal rights not to be touched. Nice day, anyway. It's lovely. It's perfect. Hey, Emily, sorry about that. What's up? Oh, it's all right. No, I, mean... I really apologise immensely, majorly to you. Because I didn't want you to uh, see I'm not like that ever. And I'm very sorry that you had to... I don't want to, you know, just apologise. It's all right. It's cool. All right. It's cool. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> It's all right. That just looks so amazing. You just want to go yeah, out there, huh? Right. It's so unfair. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
I feel cruel for laughing. Oh, oh. Uh, so Emily looking to escape there and Sophie looking for a restraining order. Good work, fella. Yeah. Just another day in the office for Paul Dana and Lady Killer. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, but you could give him a chance to repair the damage, mm. sort of, by voting into the Love Shack tonight. Is that some wise? Some quality time with one of our ladies, probably not. Probably or not. you could choose one of the other boys. The lines are open and almost all of them want your vote. I would love to go into the Love Shack because I'm really tired of doing my Leo Ramsey-based cooking for the whole camp. So pick up that phone and call me so I can demonstrate what Love Shack action is supposed to be about. Please get me at Love Shack. Because uh, it'd just be nice to spend a, a good time, you know, some a good time with, with some lasses and get to know them properly. So whoever it might be, uh, it'd be nice to go in and just to chill out and that. So please put me in. It would be lovely for the public to vote me into the Love Shack to get some one-on-one -on -one time with one of the ladies and get to know somebody a little bit deeper on a deeper level and get the inner me out with somebody. Please vote me into the Love Shack. I've heard the Love Shack is an incredible experience. I haven't had it yet, but I'm looking forward to it if you vote me in. Let's do it. Love Shack me, please. Please don't put me in the Love Shack because it's almost my second house. It's like a timeshare I own, and there it is. So let me rent it out to somebody else. You have to put me in the Love Shack. There's a new girl in town, um, and uh, we seem to be getting on really well. And you know what the Danan does when he's on his own with a girl. It's naughty but it's nice. Coming up, Lee gets the wrong end of the stick. Hey, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. Yeehaw. And Emily reigns in the boys. That did it for me. <laughs> Welcome back to Love Island, where very soon another couple will be sharing the Love Shack. The lines are about to close. Who do you want to send there tonight? The numbers are on your screen now. Meanwhile, things are really starting to hot up in the resort, and for the lads, the pressure is really mounting. Unlike the lads. It's not good for them. We've got, we've got five boys, we've got yeah. six gorgeous girls, you know, three weeks of non-stop temptation, something or someone's got to give. I know, but sadly for Lee, it doesn't look like that someone is going to be clean, and when mm. things get desperate, there's only one place to go. How's that, Fern? Leo the Lions, school of love. Have you been getting a bit on? I'm not shutting you up here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Are you struggling? I am a bit now. You're <laughs> struggling. I like Colleen, do Yeah, why well, don't you just go for it? I, just, I know, I just want to play it cool, you know. Proper smooth and cool as f you know. So do you know what you need to do? Take her by the hand, let her sit on your lap, pretend this is her, yeah? You rub. Her back. back. It's just calm. Yes, yeah, just do it. It's like that, gently. Just gently. Right, pretend you're calling. Oh, no. Well, do you have to touch me, though? No, she's sure, just... This is helping me out, this. Yeah, but, you know, this touching thing is not really part of the thing. But this is helping me. Mate, what? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. What? Well, that's helping me out, man. Yeah, but you're I don't supposed like... to be one of my best mates. Well, listen, you're walking erection at the moment, yeah? I don't know whether, like, by touching me, things may... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going to come up. <laughs> <laughs> Put the cushion on your back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But pretend I'm sitting on your lap, yeah? Oh, yeah. Do what? No, it's my lap. I'm yeah. not going to sit on your lap. Right. Oh, Lee. Oh, it was a great day. It was a good task, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Nice. Don't draw her attention to what you're doing. Just do it. What are you wearing? Don't look at her. And what's up with this growling voice? <laughs> it's romantic, innit? What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Right. When she's finished skipping, yeah? Have that serious face on your look. That, that man look. So she knows that you mean business. Predator. You're gonna be a culling. You open the, you open the bed sheet. Like, like that. And then you go. But these two taps and rub, that's sexual. So tap, tap, then rub, yeah? Should I reach out on you and pretend you're Colleen? Come right. on. So you lie down. You're in the bed. Manly. Manly. Covered up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sit up. Let her see the shoulders. Predator. Shoul Predator. Let her see the shoulders. Right, right. ready? So it's not jokes, yeah? Predator. Predator. So you give her that look. Colleen. 
<laughs> what are you not helping me here? What are you laughing for? I'm trying to be a <laughs> predator here. Oh, Colleen. I'm a predator. <laughs> I'm a predator. Tap, tap, rub. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, rub. Yeah, stop doing that. I'm now. a predator. <laughs> You were laughing, I didn't get a proper... <laughs> Go with it. Ah! Tap, tap, Rob. Tap, tap, Rob. See, it works. Look at that. Genius. <laughs> oh, but bless little Lee. He seems mm. to be a sexual predator. But you can't take him seriously, can you, really? You can't really. Well, you know, you say that, but, you know, I reckon he's heading for trouble, Fern. According to Sophie, what he did to that cut, that cushion was totally inappropriate. Well, out of order. You know, Sophie knows what's what, mm. yeah? Mm. So with a new girl yeah. in the resort, yeah? <laughs> it was up to her to teach Emily a valuable lesson. Yes, it was time for the Shane's Taken Got That Bitch chat. <sighs> Shane is so cute. I know, I'm crazy about him. Does he know at all? Yeah, it's pretty blatantly <laughs> obvious, but but no one talks I can, about it. I mean, I can I can sense obviously, like you know pairings. Yeah. But um, do you think he knows? Definitely, definitely. No, we've just we you know, we spend like loads of time together. It's, uh, it's easy when it's just one on one. Neither of us we're both quite private in front of everybody. Yeah. So who do you like, kind of, <laughs> Chris? Really Chris, charming. I know, thinks you're very, very charming. That's but he good. won't open up because he knows I'm any of my bad mates, so I, I, I kind of match. I think me. that's a good thing, though. I like it. I like it. Um, I like a bit of a chase and a bit of mucking around first, you know what I mean? Mm. I'd reckon that. Um, so I just want someone I'm going to like hang out with and just, you know. Leo, and... Bianca will be on the wall path. Oh, no, there's no way, yeah. Obviously, Shane's gone. I'd say Brendan or Chris, if you want to have, if you want to have a gentleman around. Mm. Um, I can just see Paul, Lee, Chris, Brendan all fighting over you. It's going to be quite amusing. I'm quite looking forward to it. Um. What you, what you, what's your vibes on um, the new girl? New girl. On newbie? Newbie. Yeah, she's a little hot, actually. She's got a good, good, good coat. She goes right in here and, hey, I need to say more. Good junk in the trunk. Uh huh. Do you know what I'm saying? I think she might like it, you know. Yeah, I'm getting a little vibe. I think Emily could be the one. You reckon? I'm hoping so. Woo! If someone's going to enjoy those curves, who better than you? <laughs> oh, did you miss us? Have you come to give us some love? What are you boys doing? Talking about you. Oh, was there anything exciting? Did I miss much? Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I was just talking about you, actually, funnily enough. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Or was it bad things, right? It's never bad things, is it? Mm. Woo! Now that's a look right there. Yeehaw. <laughs> Don't know you, but that did it for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, the pros and cons, yeah, of like being with Emily, right? Mm -hmm. Pros, you've got a really pretty, gorgeous girl mm. who's fortified with calves. <laughs> and then the cons. You're stuck in this <laughs> for five more weeks. Five more weeks. With the hugest loins. <laughs> Wheelbarrow based. Wheelbarrow based. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the phone lines have closed and we're about to reveal which one of these gentlemen you have chosen to head into the love shack to look at them all, find specimens they are. How are you, chaps? How are you guys? Doing all right? Doing all, right? Well. Yeah. all looking forward to possibly going into the love shack? <laughs> oh, they're over the moon! They yeah. can't wait! Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> uh, obviously, Shane, you've been in there before. It's, it's kind of like a second home to you. I'm a veteran at this stage. So. You're a veteran at this uh, stage. OK, uh, well, um, obviously the viewers have been watching you guys for the last couple of weeks, but who do they want to see more of, chaps? We have the results right here. You ready for this? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're ready. OK, let's get cracking. First up, we can tell you that, Chris. Damn. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think you've guessed it. You haven't been chosen. Have a seat. Well predicted. Leo. You've not been chosen. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Brendan. Yes. You can have a seat. You're not going in either. Thank you. Lee. 
You're not going to the Love Shack, mate. <laughs> so, we know what this means. It's either going to be Shane or Paul. Now, obviously, Paul, you really want to go in. Shane, not that fast, Hey, listen, really. you know, it's, it's good in there. It's a nice time. If, if I'm going, I'm going. I accept. OK, that's nice. Because <laughs> we don't like it when you say no. <laughs> Here we go. OK, I can tell you that. It was very, very close tonight, it's actually. It's very close. We're going into the Love Shack. Is... Shane. Take a seat, Paul. Congratulations well again, again How are you feeling about this? Well, you know, like I said, it's nice in there. It's, it's a good environment, so that's all right. Back to your timeshare then, mate. Off you go. Later, folks. He's off. Bye. Bye. There he goes. Back have to we, his little home. Have we seen this summer before? I've got deja vu slightly here. Yes, yes. Shane there heading he off goes. to the Love Shack one more time. Brilliant. There he goes. Calm, cool and collected and ready. So, which lady is going to be going to the Love Shack with Shane? Will it be Bianca? If so, call 0901-3232 and end with 02. For Colleen, call 0901-3232 and end with 3. End with 04 for Kelly. Uh, Sophie's on 5. And for new girl Emily, end with 07. She's looking quite pensive there. Oh, mm. there's a smile. Or you can text the name of your chosen girl to 6334. Digital viewers can press your red button right now. So he's going to be settling into the Love Shack. You can join us off the news to see who Shane is going to be sharing the Love Shack with, plus all this. Coming up, Paul upsets the girls. It's a piece of piss. Hi, Paul. Leo's unhappy. I feel a bit low. Is this all a game to him? And you get to vote one girl into the love shack.